Alright ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. We got a few wonderful questions to get through today so let's get straight into it starting with Jawa and he asks, are you excited for the rumors that came out for the Star Wars Summer Wave? Absolutely am I excited, it's always great to get new lego star wars sets so i'm excited for two reasons and one that's because of course being a lego star wars fan just means more lego star wars sets to collect and get and build and have fun with um and of course number two is so i can get them do reviews on them those are always good fun um, so yeah, I'm really excited for the rumors and some of them sound really cool. So it should be good. It should be fun. Anyways, our next question comes from Womai and he says, do you think Lego will make a new mold for the dark saber? No, no, I seriously don't think so. Honestly, as awesome as that would be i i hope i'm wrong in this case i really do um but for those of you who don't know it's heavily rumored that there's going to be a set with moff gideon in the summer and therefore he'll most likely have the dark saber but lego's done the dark saber before in the past which is just a generic lightsaber hilt and like a black rod piece um and they call that the dark saber it's like a regular lightsaber but with like a black piece instead and it's kind of cool i guess but mostly lame and so that's what i think lego's gonna do i really do i hope i'm wrong well find out only time will tell so place your bets next question comes from tree man and he says do you like cheeseburgers mm -hmm. Absolutely do I love cheeseburgers. They are just so good. I wish I didn't because they're not very good for you. I guess really if you think about it, the cheeseburgers aren't actually that bad for you. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a dumb American for saying that. But it's really just the cheese and the patties, or not the patties, the buns that make it bad for you. So if you get like a lettuce wrap burger, which those are good too, um, it takes away the carbs of the the buns and then of course you don't have to get cheese but it's really only bad if you get like 10 slices of cheese on your burger if you just get one slice of cheese it still tastes good and it's a lot better for you so but to answer your question i absolutely love cheeseburgers our next question comes from pizza time great name by the way and he says favorite pizza chain I'm going to go with Papa John's just because it's pretty much the only chain place of pizza that I eat um, and my family. The rest of my family doesn't like places like Domino's. I personally do, um, but it's been years and years since I've had Domino's. Same for Pizza Hut. Um, I like those places, but I'm going to have to go with Papa John's. So, yeah. Our next question comes from Bean Bricks, and he says, What is your favorite poly bag ever? I'm going to go with the Darth Maul poly bag from, I believe that's 2012. Um, it's just such a great minifigure. So cool. Eventually, I'm going to have to get my hands on one or two of those. Maybe get two so that way I can keep one opened and keep one sealed. Um, but it was just it's just such a gorgeous poly bag, minifigure, everything. So I'm going to turn that question around and ask you guys that. What's your favorite poly bag? It doesn't have to be Star Wars. It can be any Lego set ever or theme. Um, so let me know in the comments down below there. I remember to ask a question back today. I forgot last time. Our next question comes from the Rita and Skeeter. And he says, what is your favorite Lego Star Wars fig and your favorite Lego Minecraft minifigure. So going back to that poly bag with the Darth Maul. I'm going to say that just because it's on my mind now. It's a really cool minifigure. And I think that's my favorite Lego Star Wars minifigure. I mean just look at those muscles. You look at it! 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 I want all of you to look at it! And to answer the Lego Minecraft minifigure question, I'm going to go with the bee girl from the bee farm set that literally just came out like a month ago. Um, it's just such a great minifigure. Bees are my favorite mob in Minecraft, if you did not know that. So um, it's just such a great minifigure. Really cool um, to see a bee minifigure. So I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and so I'm going to also throw in a little cheeky plug here and 
mention that I did a top 10 of my favorite LEGO Star Wars minifigures in my collection. So if you have not seen that video yet, I'll leave a link in the description. Check it out after this video if you would like. Our next question comes from Brickman and he says, So which of the 2021 rumors are you going to get? I definitely want want to try to get the R2-D2. Um, so I'm probably not going to get the R2-D2. Maybe I will because I'm trying to get into those kind of like semi-UCS sets where they're like the buildable characters. Um, and like obviously like the heads and stuff like the helmets, although that's not UCS. Um, but I'm probably going to get everyone if I, I don't want to sound like blunt or like biased but i'm imagining i'm gonna get every set but the ucs sets um and the reason is one because of course i love collecting lego stars and two so i can do reviews um so i'm hoping to be able to get most of them but i can't really say which ones because i don't even know yet and um i already am starting to forget what some of the rumors were um truth be told but I'm hoping to get most of them and some of the cheaper UCS, like the buildable characters. Although I think the R2-D2 is like $200, so I probably won't be getting that one because I just, I don't like buying really expensive sets because it's like, pay, basically it's like paying $100, $200 for 20, 30, 40 views. And it's like, is it really worth paying that much for a couple views? I don't know. Um, obviously someday it'll pay off, but it's kind of like, you gotta be careful of that, you know? So that's just a little bit of random advice I'm throwing out there. I'm not sure if that'll help anyone, but, um, so yeah, I'm excited though about the sets. Don't get me wrong. Anyways, our next question comes from EK Starlord and he says, have you heard that Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield are returning for Spider-Man 3? I did, and that is really cool. I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited for that. Um, mostly for Tobey Maguire. Um, nothing against Andrew Garfield, but I didn't really like his Spider-Man movies. I never have. But the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies are really cool. Um, and so I'm really excited to see what the MCU has installed for Spider-Man. So, yeah. But with that being said, that's all the questions for today. So if I didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. I had to make this video a little bit earlier than normal. So I might have missed a question or two if they popped up um, later. So, yeah. But um, thank you all so very much for your questions. Make sure you leave a like on this video and also comment a question or two down below for the next episode and I'll pin my favorite to the top. Anyways, thanks for watching.